key thing here is the isolate part. This absolute value has to be isolated. Okay, so isolate first. All right, so divide by seven and divide by seven. Okay, now after you do that, absolute value of 2x minus seven is equal to a three. Okay, and then you got to always remember two answers, two equations, split this up. All right, so two equations. That's your part you're gonna remember next. Split this up into two equations. You write the first one without the absolute value bars. So two X minus seven equals three. Since it's an equal, it's always gonna be in a word. And then when you write it the second time, you drop the absolute value bars, but then you make the three a negative. So two X minus seven is equal to a negative three. Okay, and then from here, straightforward, you're just gonna work these out. Let's see, two X, hopefully I don't make a mistake. Add seven is gonna give me a 10, X equals five. All right, here, two X equals add seven, will give me a four, X equals two. All right, and then um, solution set, because this is an or, okay? So they're just gonna ask for a nice little solution set. So two, five, okay, because it's just an equal sign. All right, now the equal sign, when it's an equal sign, less to remember, Okay, isolate and break it up into two. But when you do the inequality, that's where we really have a lot, a lot of things to remember. Okay. So oh, let's do, um, hmm. I'm going to randomly make this up and see what happens. All right, let's do a 2x plus a 4 absolute value and let's go greater than or equal to 2. And then let's just see how this works. All right. I am randomly making this up, so we'll see if this works. Okay, already isolated, so you don't have to worry about isolating first like we did over here. So you can immediately go to breaking it up into two. All right, the first one, you're going to do just like you did the first one over here. You're going to drop those absolute value bars, and you're going to leave everything the same. So this is going to be 2x plus 4 greater than or equal to 2. All right, now if we remember, we looked at this right here. And we had a little thing where if it was greater or, all right, it was an or. If it was less than, we emphasized the and, it was an and. So with this being greater, it's going to be an or, okay? So then I know it's going to be an or right there. Now, when we go to break it up, all right, second time around, we drop the bars, okay? So 2x plus 4, all right? And then we have a lot of things we have to remember. We flipped the inequality symbol. So we're going to flip that. So that is then going to become a less than or equal to. All right. And then after we did that, let's see, I haven't used red yet. We did the opposite then of the two, which would make it a negative two. All right. So we just had lots of things that you had to remember on that one to get that set up. But again, two answers. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. We're going to have a 2x greater than or equal to if I minus 4. It'll give me a negative 2. x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Check me on this. I don't know if I'm, I mean, don't want to make a mistake here. 2x less than or equal to if I minus 4. It'll be a minus 6. So x is less than or equal to negative 3. Okay, now let's see if this makes sense on our number line, because on this one, we could write it in interval notation, but we can also draw it on our number line. I would do the number line first and then do the interval notation. So let's do that. I'd have a negative three sitting down here. I'd have a negative one here. This says x is less than or equal to, so that would be shading this way with our square bracket. This says x is greater than negative one, so that would be shading this way with the square brackets. Okay, looks good. That's an or. Ors are supposed to look like that. I'd have negative infinity down here. I'd have infinity down there. Okay. Um, so if I wanted to now do interval notation, then I'm going to have two shaded parts. So I'm going to have two sections. I'll have the negative infinity to a negative three with a square bracket and then skip over. This was a negative one. I almost can't read my writing. Square bracket negative one. To infinity. Okay, so then there's my interval notation. 